Common sight in the 80s and 90s, not quite as frequent since, but it's back. Playoff football in the Bay Area here at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. And down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. A situation they'll certainly want to avoid going forward. An early second and long they're facing. On second down, a run with Breida. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Makes it third and 17. in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Now back to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. 
Picked off by John Johnson. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. They are in a zone. Remember, folks, four interceptions for this defense a week ago. First drive, make it number five. And the focal point will be the people who pick the ball out of the air. But let's not forget, to make that happen, it has to be an excellent pass rush, terrific coverage where they are plastered to the receivers, and then, of course, taking it away, making the catch, and going in the other direction. After the interception, here's Gall. This is the tight end fan. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that open things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. On first down, McFarland. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. On second and 12, Goff. And he's got this one complete to Callaway. And they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Throwing on third, goal toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Always disappointing when you miss a field goal, but when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them when you can. 